Introduction. What is literature? An essay by Terry Eagleton. Terry Eagleton's essay, Introduction. What is literature? Critically analyzes the concept of literature and its various definitions. Eagleton suggests that the term, literature, has been used to define a wide range of written texts, from Shakespearean plays to pulp fiction, and that the meaning of literature has evolved. In this essay, Eagleton argues that literature is not a fixed category but a socially constructed term constantly redefined by cultural and historical forces. One of Eagleton's essay's main points is that literature is not a neutral category but rather a cultural construct that reflects the values and beliefs of the society that produces it. According to Eagleton, literature is not simply a collection of aesthetic objects but a complex cultural practice shaped by social, political, and economic forces. He notes, literature does not exist in a vacuum, nor is it a reflection of some abstract aesthetic principles. It is a social practice, and as such, it is deeply entwined with the cultural and historical context in which it is produced. Eagleton also highlights the historical and cultural specificity of the term, literature. He argues that the concept of literature as we understand it today emerged in the 18th century, as a response to the rise of print culture and the growing importance of the written word. According to Eagleton, literature was closely tied to the emergence of the modern nation-state, as literary texts were seen as a means of promoting national identity and cultural unity. Eagleton notes, the emergence of literature is intimately bound up with the formation of the modern nation-state, with the emergence of a bourgeois public sphere, and with the rise of print culture. Another critical point of Eagleton's essay is that literature is not a monolithic category but a diverse and complex field encompassing various genres and forms. He notes, literature is not simply a collection of texts with certain formal features or thematic concerns. It is a field of cultural production that includes a wide range of genres, from poetry and drama to the novel and the short story, and that is constantly evolving and changing. Eagleton also explores the relationship between literature and ideology, arguing that literary texts are not neutral or objective but rather reflect the values and beliefs of the society that produces them. He notes, literature is always ideological, whether it is aware of this or not. It reflects and reinforces the dominant values and beliefs of the society that produces it, and it is always implicated in power relations. Finally, Eagleton explores the reader's role in producing literary meaning. He argues that literary texts are not fixed or stable but rather open to interpretation and reinterpretation by different readers in different historical and cultural contexts. He notes, literary texts are always open to multiple interpretations, and the meanings that readers derive from them are shaped by their own cultural and historical contexts. In conclusion, Terry Eagleton's essay, Introduction, What is Literature?, critically analyzes the concept of literature and its various definitions. Eagleton suggests that literature is not a fixed or neutral category but a socially constructed term constantly redefined by cultural and historical forces. He argues that literature is intimately bound up with the cultural and historical context in which it is produced and that literary texts reflect the values and beliefs of the society that produces them. Ultimately, Eagleton's essay emphasizes the importance of critical engagement with literary texts and the need to recognize the complex and diverse nature of the literary field.